Hi Taurus, it is Sunday today, September 22nd, 2024. But whenever you're viewing this is when you're meant to receive these messages. Let's take a look at your tarot cards, you guys. It is time for our daily get together to see what is going on in your energy. Take what messages resonate and leave the rest out. Spirits, what does Taurus need to know? If you're new here, my name's Jennifer and we do a daily tarot reading here. So please um, like and subscribe and join our family here. All right, you guys, let's see what's showing up. Okay, so the first card you have is the Knight of Pentacles. And then you have the Six of Swords. You need to make some type of move, Taurus, but you're not doing it yet. It's like you're looking ahead. You're preparing for this move. That Knight of Pentacles is not moving. And then you have Nine of Cups, trying to get things lined up, trying to get things in order. This doesn't have to be a physical move, but um, there's some type of move that you want to make. The next card you have is the Three of Cups. And then you have the Seven of Pentacles in the center of your reading. Yeah, there's a need to, um, to wait. That's why the Seven of Pentacles is here. Let's keep going. The next card you have is Justice. This is Libra happening here. Libra happening. Justice happening. Something being made right. Something hasn't really paid off for you. There's an energy here that you planted seeds and they... Um, it's taken a very long time for these seeds to grow, but justice is coming in, okay? The next card you have is the Seven of Cups, and then you have the Seven of Swords. And the Eight of Pentacles. On the bottom of the deck, you have the Empress. This is your energy, Taurus. And you have the eight of, I mean, the ace of cups with the six of cups. Somebody here that you already know with this um, energy that's showing up here. Um... It's almost like you receiving an offer here from someone, someone that you've known for years. Spirits, so why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Okay, so you have the Four of Swords. And then you have the Ace of Wands. There's something here that you're healing over, Taurus. You're in this energy of healing with the Four of Swords. And um, it's something that needs to come to an end. There's a new energy coming in here with the Ace of Wands. But you're, you're still in this energy of needing to move on from something else. All right. I feel like you've been hurt. With this energy right here, the Four of Swords... There's three swords on the wall. It's like you've taken the swords out of your heart. You've hung them on the wall. And you have this one beside you that you can easily grab for protection to protect yourself. There's something new here showing up. It's something you've been praying for. This person looks like they're praying or that you are praying for. And that is to make this move into your wish fulfillment. That's what the Nine of Cups is. 
Why is the Six of Swords here? Yeah, something here is just, it's gone full circle. It's over. It's done. This is you passing through like a, a new reality. A whole new you. Someone here is physically moving, but that's not for everyone. But this is being reborn again. And then you have the Five of Wands. So this doesn't come without um, competition, conflict, an argument, some type of fight. But I'm seeing here that this move will be made. This is a wish fulfillment here, and I see you feeling very satisfied. All right, but there's something here that you're hiding, hiding. I see a curtain behind you here and here. And the Seven of Swords is telling me that you're looking back. You're keeping something here to yourself. Tell me why the Nine of Cups is here. I feel like it could be this offer, this new offer. Or you will be keeping it to yourself. You have the King of Pentacles. And you have the Tower. Somebody in your energy. Um, could be a Cancer. We have the Chariot on the bottom of the deck. But there's somebody here in your energy... Taurus, that is closed off to you. It's like they're trying to make a decision, but they're not. And they're having a tower moment. All right. And whoever this person is, they're showing up as the king of pentacles. So this person is someone that... um. Could, could be financially stable. There's something about this person's energy that's very grounded. And they're becoming closed off to you. They're, they're secretly inside of themselves. It's like they're, they're very deeply hurt. They feel blindfolded. They don't know what to do, what decision to make. In the meanwhile, in Taurus energy, in your energy, <coughs> I see that you're healing over this situation, but you're also looking forward to the new, okay? And so you could be remaining silent, quiet, and there's like this standoff here between you and someone else where you're both being silent, the next card you have is the Three of Cups. This is a get-together. This is fun with friends or family. Tell me why the Three of Cups is here. Okay, so the Chariot is showing up here. Again, Cancer Energy. And then you have the Fool, Aries energy. And you have the Four of Pentacles. Gosh. It's almost like there's gossip here. There's, there's talking here with other people in your energy about this situation that's dying out, that's coming to an end. And I see people cheering you on here. Saying, you need to leave. You need to go, Taurus. You are you need to let go of this. You know? Because there's gossip here with the Three of Cups. Which, you know, is family or friends.
whoever this person is that's showing up, they're showing up as being stingy. They could be holding back from you financially. Let's see why the Seven of Pentacles is here. Tell me why the Seven of Pentacles is here. Whatever that situation is, Taurus, I'm seeing here that you're thinking to yourself, I don't know, uh, you know, I don't know how to take this with me. It's like I've done a lot of work here. I've spent a lot of time. So there's something here that you don't know whether just to walk away from it um, or to stay there's a piece of you that wants to stay. And there's this person here in your energy. I see this person being very sad, Taurus. It's like whoever this is loves you. Like this person deeply loves you. They feel deeply hurt. It's almost like they're afraid. Like there's fear of, of losing you, but they're pushing themselves. They're walking away. The next card that you have here is you have justice. And someone may be in jail. That's not for everyone. But with the Eight of Swords and justice, someone may be in jail or in a self-imposed imprisonment of the mind. All right. This person you're dealing with, it's it's a fight for them. Very difficult for them to be able to approach you in the way that they want to approach you. This person, I feel like... I feel like there's too much energy here surrounding you and whoever this is showing up in your energy there's too much too much of a fight too much of a conflict too much work for the two of you to be together let's grab a different deck Taurus as we look into the future Spirits, why is the Seven of Cups here? When we look into the future, Taurus, the very first card you have is the Seven of Cups. And then you have Judgment. The Ace of Swords. So if there is a legal matter happening here in your energy, you'll be able to rise above it. It's going to be successful. There's truth. There's justice coming out. It's like I see you receiving some type of an email or something that you've been waiting for that makes you happy. That's why the Seven of Cups is here. It opens up doors for you. It puts you above the fighting, the conflict. It raises you above that. But you're going to hear from this person that's showing up in your energy too. And whoever the whoever that is to you, I, I I'm seeing them wanting to talk. All right, but they are very very defensive when they when they come towards you to talk. Tell me why the Ace of Swords is here. death they want to talk about the ending that took place this is scorpio energy it's a car going by that's what that music is um 
Taurus, whoever this person is in the future energy here and the timeline may be off, but I'm seeing here that you don't want to show this person what is, it's like you tell them some information, but where you're going, you don't want to tell them everything, which is very smart. You should never tell anyone everything, especially in a circumstance like this. And so I'm seeing you keeping information here to yourself when this conversation takes place. Tell me why the Seven of Swords is here. Okay, so you have the King of Cups. You have to stay in control of your emotions. You don't want to have a fight with this person. And then you have the Sun, Leo Energy. The king and the queen of cups. Huh. Whoever that person is that's showing up here in your energy... <coughs> <coughs> Seeing you having a good conversation with this person, but still yet to their stuff here that you're not revealing to this person, but the sun is here next to the king and queen of cups here in the future. And you may be telling me, no, I'm walking away. But the, whoever this person is, it's like they, they want to approach you here with love. They want a reconciliation with you. This is someone who wants to come back to you. The next card you have is you have the Eight of Pentacles. Tell me why the Eight of Pentacles is here. Let's get one more. Okay, the Eight of Wands. The moon. It's almost like as if this person, um, they want to pretend like nothing's happening here. They, their approach towards you is something here that has changed, all right? What kind of a person is this? Because this, this is someone here that they're, they're showing, you know, like this other side of them here in the future, a changed side. The moon is here and the eight of wands. It's like someone here is you know, just wanting to get things back together again, wanting to chit chat, wanting to act like nothing, like nothing happened. There's something here that you're working on though, Taurus. Tell me more about this work Taurus is doing. The Four of Swords. There's something here that you pray for, that, you, that you're doing some type of special work. I don't know if this is spiritual work, which is what I'm hearing for someone here. This is spiritual work. Um, something's going to happen within this energy here that you're not expecting. All right. It's something that you hold dear to your heart. Something that you will spend hours on. Like this has to be perfection. And this is in your in your future energy here. There's something here within this work that's going to happen that you're not expecting. That's why the tower is here. Tell me about the tower. What's going to happen that Taurus doesn't see? 
the Wheel of Fortune. Something about your work is going to move in your favor here, Taurus. You have like a lucky rabbit. It's happening in divine timing. Tell me about this Wheel of Fortune. The Two of Wands. It's going to change your path ahead down the road. This, this whatever it is that you're perfecting, what you're working on here, um, it, it's like the Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor, but you'll be taking a different road here in the future. You're not going to be going in the same direction. You literally are going to be moving in a different direction Tell me why the Empress is here. This Empress is you, Taurus. This this Empress has plans in the making. You have the Nine of Wands plans that you're unwilling to give up on. And spirits are telling you don't give up. You're almost there. The Six of Cups is showing up twice here. This is your life's purpose. What you, This is very meaningful to you, what you're working on here. It's some type of a gift or a blessing that you have. And the hand from the sky, the hand from God <coughs> is coming to you here with the Six of Cups. Tell me about this Ace of Cups and the Six of Cups. Yeah, the messenger. Are you a messenger? Um, tell me about the message here. You have the five of wands. Gosh, this is awesome. Okay, because the five of wands, this is something where there's a lot of competition in what you're doing. And you're being blessed here. It's like you're being brought out into the open, shown to the world as the queen of wands. And this is male or female, but um, this, is, this is you being highly recognized. And it gives you a lot of confidence here. Success. The Ten of Cups. You have happily ever after here too, the Ten of Cups. And then you have the fool. There is a whole new journey ahead of you, Taurus. Beautiful ahead of you. The fool is Aries energy. There's something here when we start this reading that you're praying for. And I see you receiving this prayer against all odds. I'm feeling like against all odds. It's like your prayers are being heard. Spirits, what does Taurus need to know? Honesty. Be conscious. Be conscious of the words you speak and ask yourself. Do these words resonate with my highest truth? Honesty with yourself and others is a supreme form of respect. When you express yourself authentic authentically, you come into divine flow. Ask yourself who needs your truth and your honesty right now. Allow for the possibility that, in fact, you are the one who most needs to hear words in this moment. Allow for the possibility that, in fact, you are the one who most needs to hear words in this moment. This is your throat chakra. Um, that's beautiful, Taurus. I love you guys. Thank you for being here with me, and thank you so much for sharing your energy with me. And taking the time to like and subscribe and all of that stuff and share. And I will see you guys tomorrow, Taurus. Namaste.